Okay, you guys, so here is the G4 PWS Diablo box. Um, you know, it's got your, uh, this is a custom gun, so it doesn't really come with a uh, extremely flashy box. It's just got a sticker with G4, the Airsoft GI BB, the G4 series, and it just says G4 PWS. Uh, pretty plain box, but, you know, Airsoft GI keeping it simple right there. Uh, so let's kind of open this box. Hold on one second as I do this for you. I'll try, we'll try and keep this in frame for you guys. All this really does is just slide out, kind of like that. But there is the G4 PWS Diablo. It does come with an orange tip just for um, shipping purposes uh, from Airsoft GI to uh, you, of course. Uh, this gun does not come with anything, r really, because it is a uh, custom gun. But it and it does come with a 450 round G&G high capacity mag, um, very high quality, just like every, every other G&G mag, like GR16, GR15, stuff like that. Uh, this comes wrapped up, but it does come with your PWS Diablo ah PWS Diablo flash hider right here, really flashy, uh, really nice. Um, I would say that this is probably one of the nicest uh, flash hiders I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but and then here comes your gun right here. It comes with no uh, iron sights whatsoever, which uh, that is why we bought, of course, the 551 holographic sight that we unboxed earlier um, today. Uh, but this video is probably like a week later. Uh, hold on a second, let me just get that out of the way and get to the review of the PWS Diablo. Okay, uh, as you can see, very very much similarities to the G&G GR15 Raider except for the uh, PWS Diablo rail system, uh, which is very, very nice, as I must say. Uh, but let's start off from the back. It's got your six-position G&G crane stock with a rubber butt plate, which uh, adds comfort. Um, six positions, but I kind of don't feel like doing that right now. But yeah, just trust me on that. Um, it's got your... Um, Tango Down style pistol grip, which uh, I prefer over any other pistol grip because it, uh, it just I don't know. It's just it's just my personal opinion, but I just love it. It's got your trigger guard, uh, your trigger, very responsive on this gun, I must say. Uh, it's got your uh, selector switch, which uh, does safe, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. Right there, it does a, ni a nice positive click, uh, which uh, I prefer. It's got, this gun does not lack trades whatsoever. It's got your uh, complete AEG series uh, MFG by G&G &G Airsoft made in Taiwan. It's got a little clown right here, which is probably my favorite. It says, who's laughing now? That's one of my favorites. And it's got the Airsoft GI logo with uh, a BB, and it says Airsoft GI G4 series, www.airsoftgi.com. Uh, but let's flip this gun over and finish this side before we get to the other side. It's got your, um, oh, no, just forget that. Uh, it's got a functioning charging handle, which, uh, once we get to the other side, I'll, I will show you that. Um, and, uh, full metal, uh, RIS, um, and this whole body right here is a polymer, which, it's not any ordinary ABS plastic, uh, which is, uh, of course, really good, in my opinion. Uh, so let's get to the front, uh, it's got your orange flash header right here. I will take that off right now. It's got 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads. Um, so let's undo that and put on the flash header. Uh, that is not glued to the barrel. Let me see that, Davis, very quick. Thank you very much. Uh, as I said, 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads. Let's screw that on right now. This is pretty much almost what makes the G4 PWS Diablo. This is its trademark right here. Jeez. This thing goes on far. Hold on one second. Just tighten that up. Okay, there it is. That's, that is what it looks like on the G4 PWS Diablo itself. Uh, I really like the way the, the flash header looks. Some of you may not like it. It's kind of like a personal thing. Uh, but there is the trades right there. PWS Diablo. And a little logo right there. Let's flip this gun over and show you the other features on this side. Uh, it's got your dust cover right here. 
as I said, working, a working charging handle. Uh, it's got a pneumatic blowback system, uh, which I prefer a regular blowback because it does not strip your piston. Um, it just uses leftover air and uh, pushes the blowback system back. So uh, it's got trades right here. It's got your, um, it's got like Arabic or whatever. Uh, uh, is Israel um, kind of trademark right here and it says infidel right here I kind of like that uh, that just flips up it's, uh, as again tingo, tingo down style grip this gun is not ambidextrous as you can see right here there is uh, no selective switch on this side uh, it's got your functioning forward assist which decompresses the spring after uh, done use after done uh, after you're done using it so uh, that your spring doesn't isn't left all up coiled up and stuff but uh, it's got some swivel sling mounts here uh, on the bottom, on the other side, and none on the top. But, uh, sorry, I forgot to say this. It's got a sling mount right here, one point sling. Uh, it's got your body pins right here, one and two. You can pop these out from the other side, which uh, your whole upper receiver should slide off from your lower receiver. And uh, you could take apart your um, hop-up unit and your uh, included type of barrel within this gun which is amazing. Metal, metal buffer tube, uh, as I said, with six positions. Uh, just a standard G&G &G motor. Um, RPM with a 9.6 on this thing is very, very high, I must say. Um, but again, more trades right here. It says primary weapon systems, Boise, Idaho. And it says seven, seven inch piston driven system for adult, for airsoft only, sorry. Um, but yeah, I would totally recommend this gun over really, um, for 205 bucks, you can't really go wrong. This gun is amazing. Uh, we just got done shooting it. Uh, we, we got it in the mail today, but man, I'm just surprised. I, I didn't expect it to be this nice with a holographic sight, maybe a Magpul AFG, uh, vertical grip right there. Uh, this gun will be complete. I'll just say that, but, uh, very, very, uh, detailed gun review right here uh, be sure to check out our disassembly video or if you want a disassembly video on this just please leave a comment because it is kind of the same as a GR15 during that it is based around all guns are based around or all pretty much all G&G M4s are based around the GR16 um, in my opinion uh, but yeah so this has been the review of the G&G &G, GR I mean not GR oh my gosh uh, the G4 PWS Diablo um, in black version, this gun also comes in tan, and we got it for 205 bucks off of airsoftgi.com. They shipped in about one day, because we do live in Southern California. But, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.